Do you know, I can honestly say I have never seen such positivity towards a golf ball in all the time I've been making these videos. And for very good reason, because this golf ball is without doubt superb. But from what I can see, there are two main problems with this golf ball and they're major problems in my opinion. You see the ball in question is from TaylorMade. It's the tall response, but it's the one with the big thick lime green line running through it. Now, when it comes to alignment with driver in hand, I've got no issues with this ball. In fact, it's got two options as far as I'm concerned. If you like that strong alignment aid, then why not point it in the direction that you're aiming down the fairway? To me, that's a real assist again. But if you're put off by that in any way, then what I like about this is you just turn it full circle on its side and you've just got a regular looking golf ball now from the top. So in terms of alignment with the driver, it's a big thumbs up. So as far as the quality of the golf ball itself, it's a three piece ball. It's got a urethane cover and it performs incredibly well with each club in hand that I've tested it on. So with driver in hand, the testing that we've done earlier on today on Trackman was showing that in terms of ball speed, it's right up there with TP5 and the Pro V1, which is really impressive. The question is, can we get one down the first on the Nicholas course here at, uh, at Carden on a gorgeous morning? That's not a bad start to the day, Anne. And the control in terms of ball flight and spin from iron shots again is well, simply sublime, you know. That's middle of the green. In terms of putting it as without doubt the strongest alignment aid that I have ever seen on a golf ball, which I think is a huge help for most average golfers. Thing is, will it help this one on the first? Can we start off with a birdie? Roll out, roll out, roll out. Oh my god, hand, that looks an absolute setup. Can you believe that? That's why that alignment aid is so good for average golfers. And in terms of uh, responsiveness around the greens, well, this thing is so good in terms of feel, both off wedge and off putter. It's soft in terms of feel for the short game, but then when you're playing driver or you're playing irons, a driver in particular, it feels like the ball is absolutely firing out there in terms of ball speed. So for me, that's the perfect combination on what a golf ball should be offering. You see, the first major issue I've got with this ball, it's the alignment aid itself. Wait a minute, I thought you said the alignment aid was amazing. I did say it's amazing, but take a look at this. You see, the first major issue with that alignment aid is right below my feet now and where this ball has come to rest. And it's gonna be a major issue for all our golfers because see, what you've seen so far is me place a ball on a tee for the driver and place it down for uh, a putt on the green so i've always been in control of which way that stripe is pointing i don't have any control of where this ball has come to rest when i stand behind this ball and i look at where i'm aiming at the flag my alignment aid the line on the ball is pointing in a completely opposite direction and that's a conflict in my brain and one that i worry that a lot of golfers are going to struggle with this ball almost tells me that i'm going to slice this thing well, I didn't slice it, but it meant that I was really having to concentrate and everything was working against what my head and eyes were telling me was gonna happen. And I'm not sure that's a good thing. Time for your feedback. I mean, what are your thoughts? First of all, have you tried the golf ball and what are you thinking in terms of performance alone? So don't forget, this is available in yellow and white just to playing golf balls, a tour response, and that's a really good performing golf ball. This edition of the Stripe is the one that I really got a conflict in what I think personally. Part of me tells me that on the greens, like I said, it's a huge aid towards average golfers in terms of alignment. But then this conflict I'm talking about in terms of where that ball comes to rest on the fairways and in the rough, how many of you think that could be a major issue that puts you off? Feedback down below as ever. I love to hear from you. But you see, that's not the only problem. The second big mistake, well, that was by TaylorMade themselves. You see, I posted a video on social media that looked something like this, and the response was phenomenal. It wasn't about the ball, it was about the ball marker itself from Taylor Made, their specially made tour response golf ball marker. And the request was simple, how do people get hold of one? And the simple answer is, you can't. Now if I go three from three with this ball and put a combination, then it's definitely going in the bag. Oh my God. Oh, I can't believe that didn't go in. 
Wow, the alignment aid is so, so good for putts, you know. You see, this specially designed ball marker makes alignment even easier, in my opinion. And I reckon speeds up that process, which many are critical of as well. But the alignment aid is so strong with that ball, then a putter is undoubtedly next to follow. It was an absolute masterclass in terms of a little gadget that sells golf balls on behalf of TaylorMade. But when I made an inquiry as to what was happening and how do people get hold of these things, they told me it was simply part of the launch marketing campaign and they don't exist. So you'll be glad to know I've passed on my opinions to TaylorMade and I made a request that they should seriously consider put that into some kind of production. And uh, I'm not so sure they'll listen to me, but I genuinely think they're missing a trick there because even if they were to give one of these away free or something with a dozen golf balls, then it's a massive marketing ploy by TaylorMade to get that ball in play. My summary of the ball itself is that it's a really, really good golf ball, and that's the Tour Response Golf Ball. The stripe version is incredibly good when on the tee, when on the greens. And I think, like I said, a real plus for a lot of golfers who struggle with alignment full stop add the ball marker in around the greens and it's really really good there is one other minor issue i said i've got two major issues possibly three having played these balls for quite a number of rounds i have noticed that they start to lose their current a little bit and quite quickly start to lose that lime green line around or as strong as it was obviously when it's straight out the box so another consideration why they might be a little bit uh, of a negative when you're considering purchasing these things but overall a really really good golf ball what you've got to ask yourself the question is is how important is that stripe to improve in your game because if it isn't then i think you just stick with the standard tour response in the white or yellow right i'm stood in the middle of the fairway on the 17th uh, at carden park We've got a big mower going in the background. We've got mowers going behind me. So I hope you can hear everything I can say. I am saying right now because I can't hear very little. Right, that's me done. As ever, comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on this golf ball and the standard tour response. Is it going to be a potential for in your bag this year? Right, that's me done. I'm off. I'll see you soon.